black grouse are found over many of the upland areas in Scotland. The males are all black, with a distinctive red wattle over the eye, and a white stripe along each wing in flight. They can fan and raise their tail feathers, showing the white underfeathers. The female, often called a grey hen, is smaller and a plain grey-brown in colour. Black grouse were once widespread across the whole UK. In Scotland, they are one of our fastest declining bird species. And because of this, they are a red-listed species of high conservation concern. They generally inhabit the altitudinal range of around 200 to 550 metres. There's a Scottish stronghold for black grouse in the central and eastern highlands, in particular Perthshire. However, they are still widely distributed in suitable habitats right across the Scottish uplands and in Argyll. Black grouse generally require a mosaic of moorland, grassland, mire and woodland, plus a variety of different food. Heather and blaeberry are eaten throughout the year by adult birds, with heather being particularly important in winter. In spring, black grouse will feed heavily on larch and bog cotton buds to get into good breeding condition. In summer, a range of herbs are taken from moorland flushes, herb-rich rough grazing and meadows. Seed heads of rushes, grasses and sedges are also eaten in autumn, as well as a range of berries such as blaeberry, cowberry and crowberry. In winter, particularly if snow cover is prolonged, black grouse feed in trees, eating the buds and catkins of birch, alder and willow, and berries from rowan, hawthorn and juniper. Apart from a food supply, they also need a place to display, known as a leg site. This typically has short vegetation and good all-round visibility to avoid predators. Grazing needs to be managed on hill ground to try to create vegetation in some areas longer, over 30 centimetres in height, to provide a mix of open and dense vegetation. Try to avoid letting the vegetation become uniformly tall and dense as this can impede chick movement. Allow plants to flower and seed to provide good food source and retain upland meadows rich in wildflowers. On the moorland, retain some areas of longer heather to provide nest sites and create a mosaic of heather ages and structure for shelter and for feeding. On wetlands, retain existing boggy areas and flushes, which are a rich source of invertebrates for chick rearing. It's good to enhance areas of wet heath and upland bog by blocking drains and ditches to provide some wetter areas. Black grouse also need woodland, particularly woodland edge. Create and expand native woodland in open landscapes. You could plant small woodland blocks of 1 to 5 hectares of birch, willow, hawthorn, rowan, alder and Scots pine to provide an additional source of food. These woodlands work best with uneven edges to maximise the edge preferred by black grouse. They may use larger woodlands for breeding but only if the planting density is low enough to maintain vegetation suitable for chick rearing and adult feeding, in particular heather and blaeberry. A high percentage, over 40% of open ground, will be needed to keep woodland suitable for brood rearing once it is mature. If you are designing a planting scheme, maximise the woodland edge available and encourage scrub along it. In some areas, black grouse sometimes use arable areas for feeding, so retain arable stubbles over winter. They like arable crops such as turnips with patches of weeds in the uplands. These will also have wider biodiversity benefits as other farmland birds use these areas frequently. Black cocks display on traditional sites known as lakes. Most lakes in Britain now hold only 5 to 10 birds but there are a few larger lakes of over 30 birds now. During the lake, which takes place March to May, the cocks compete with each other for best display sites within the lake, with dominant individuals occupying central sites. The bubbling calls and the posturing of the cocks attract hens, who choose their mate. <coughs> The dominant males in the central part of the lake 
obtain most of the copulations. For management of lake sites, try to avoid disturbing them, particularly from mid-March to the end of May. Keep lake site vegetation short. Avoid planting trees within 100 metres of lake sites. This maintains good all-round visibility. Also avoid erecting fences near lake sites, as black grouse cannot see them and can fly into them, causing death. In summary, black grouse are a fast declining species. However, if you are a land manager, there are many positive management actions you can take to encourage and support black grouse on the hill. And these can have a very positive biodiversity effect. More information can be found on the Farming Advisory Service website.